Hello everyone and welcome to the long awaited test run of the FIDU HAL2 using the new controller installed there. As you can see there is an issue with it. Um, it does fit here perfectly but the second seat will not fit anymore because that one goes through these holes and then slides in. Well now it doesn't have any place to slide in because this one it's actually taking all the space here uh, there could be some workarounds I could shift this maybe on one side or something like that but I didn't want to mess with it anymore just wanted to test it to see how it runs and if it uh, deserves all that effort and I'm going to start with first gear here and I'm also going to turn on the GPS on my mobile phone hopefully the screen will be visible so let's let me try to put this to maximum brightness uh, I forgot my trusty GPS measurement tool that happens so let's see how this goes uh, battery should be almost full 33.7 volts well it's not full but let's see how it should burn for so starting right up whoa <laughs> this is, is kind of a shock it has it, it it's on the first gear but it lifts the front wheel up a bit from the ground and now this is the first gear and it's doing seven kilometers per hour currently corresponding with the gps so that's showing right and i'm going uphill and i'm going to select second gear whoa it's like pushing turbo and it's doing 70 kilometers per hour 17 18 on the trigger here and there's a big hill coming right up and i'm going to keep second gear wow and this is climbing like mad this is amazing it has amazing power output but let's see will it be faster or no so time for the truth i'm going to select the third gear Whoa, and I'm off-road now and uh, the road is not very good for all that speed so let's try it on some asphalt but nonetheless it's doing about guess what 25 26 km per hour well that's not funny not funny at all but uh, I'm going to try it in uh, better road conditions Nonetheless, the L2 performs great as it's performing as always. The suspension, the cushioning, all of that for such a tiny bike is still amazing. And the acceleration with this controller is crazy, absolutely crazy. It simply, it simply makes starting from standstill an adventure because it wants to leave the ground with the front wheel all right so getting close to the asphalt oh and by the way the hydraulic brake upgrade is working really nice the brakes are immensely powerful now the cable the hand and the brake handle works much more easy you don't have to squeeze it so hard and now both brake pads leave the disc when you are not braking and there's no more friction so i'm on a good road now let's try that again come on come on come on give me all you got and Guess what? It's not going faster than 25, 26 kilometers per hour. And that's really annoying after all that work. And nope, 
Okay, doesn't want to go any faster. Let's do a quick settings check. There are some issues. Uh, the controller came with uh, a lot of missing information because the Chinese that sells this hasn't bothered to uh, give me full details of how to set this up so most of it is guesswork and I had to uh, search other controllers and try settings from those models and some of them work some of the others didn't and there are a lot of parameters that are set by me but uh, I'm not entirely sure what they do so I do hope there is a speed limit but it seems that the controller oh, it's limited somehow and you've seen how this thing starts it throws you over right away so you need to be very gentle with the acceleration now let's test some other things such as cruise control which was not available on the alto stock controller so you get to the desired speed and press this down button quickly and it should remember the cruise control speed setting let's try that again Ah, uh, no, I have activated the walk assist, look at that, so if I want to walk with this and I don't want to push it, I can hold this button pressed and now this goes by its own, so you can walk by it and it doesn't make you tired, this is very good when you have very little battery left or when you are crossing uh, streets or stuff like that and you are not allowed to ride the bike you can use that and you can disconnect it with the brake levers let's try again with the cruise control all right so i have figured this out you actually need to keep this pressed for one or two seconds so I go to the needed speed and when I want to keep this now I push this button and hold it press a bit and now I can remove my hand from the throttle and the bike will continue with the speed and you can change gears but it will hold the speed constant which is really nice if you give it throttle it will deactivate and it will uh, work as normal also when you touch the brake levers it will deactivate the cruise control all right time for some uh, pros and cons of this uh, controller upgrade so the biggest con as you can see no speed increase not yet uh, so i don't know what that's about uh, the chinese that sells this controller is now on uh, chinese new year he's not answering any kind of messages for now i do hope there is a speed lock option on this because it's too strange that it stopped at the exact 25-26 km per hour speed rating and you can hear the motor that it kind of stops working and it's working intermittently when it reaches that speed so somewhere I think there is still a limitation I do have some other tricks to try such as disabling the whole sensors in the motor that will make the motor more, more noisy and less efficient but not by much but could uh, remove any kind of speed limit as the controller should hopefully not see how fast the motor is spinning but it can still do that only with three wires but depends on this so i do hope that the chinese will answer in about two or three weeks or something like that when he returns uh, other from that the con with the speed there are a lot of pros I enjoy a lot the torque that the motor outputs now so you can go uphill uh, right away with absolutely no problem it doesn't even struggle it simply takes off uh, it's amazing how much torque you can get out of this uh, small motor and I really love that so if you are a person that you are a bit more heavy such as 80 90 100 kilograms maybe this uh, upgrade is really nice as it will make the bike go uphill really well and start from standstill very fast 
also you can carry extra luggage with it and you will not feel that it's lagging or you won't need to help it with the pedals because the pedals now are kind of useless with this uh, motor and uh, controller combination i also enjoy the uh, display because it has really good and accurate voltage display which is very important for me so battery now has uh, 53 volts it shows this battery gouge while the original controller on the Alto only had some LEDs and they were not uh, very useful as the first bar will go out in 40 kilometers and then in 10 or uh, 20 kilometers you could lose three more LEDs so it was not accurate at all this one it's really good as it shows directly the voltage other nice things are the uh, walk assist mode where the bike travels on its own really useful and also the cruise control is very useful for me because i do have portions where i ride for let's say about uh, two kilometers and using the original twist handle uh, was uh, numbing my wrist as i needed to keep it uh, accelerated and constant now i can select my speed uh, start cruise control and just relax and keep the handlebar steady and I have good better access to the brake as all my hand it's on the handle uh, and that's really good so cruise control was a must for me and I really enjoy that with the controller you can keep also the original uh, lights and horn they all work perfectly uh, as you've seen in the video so that's also nice uh, what I was not able to do was to hook this up the uh, USB cradle to the controller because this one needs a switched power because if you connect this directly to the battery there is no on or off switch and this will draw power from the battery constantly slowly but surely depleting your battery even if you don't charge your phone so I let this disconnected and I'm going to search for a key start or something like that and then connect the lights and all the electronics to that that will improve the security of the bike also and it will stop draining the battery and last but not least uh, something is wrong with the pedelec uh, it's no longer working but to be uh, as most as honest as possible I didn't even test it the pedelec uh, recently on this I've just tested it when it was new and since then never used the assisted mode so I don't have any idea if the sensor went bad if the wiring did not match as all the wires were other colors and I had to do a lot of guesswork of how to connect the pedelec to the controller something might be wrong there or uh, I found out searching in uh, various documentation with which the Chinese seller did not provide that this controller has a lot of programmable features regarding to the pedelec sensor the type the number of magnets and a lot of stuff there are a lot of uh, about three or four different settings that are related to the pedelec and you need to uh, not guess them all but to know them all to make this work and I have no idea what the settings are and what the pedelec sensor is and if the wires are correct so nope that's not working and i don't know uh, how soon i can sort that out but it's not an issue for me if i want pedelec i can pedal and help and then use throttle and for me that's pedelec so that was it for now maybe it's not the video that you have uh, wanted to see the most but at least it's a true video and honest video about swapping the controller on the Alto and uh, what you can expect after you finish that so don't you don't get your hopes high um, there are a lot of controllers on the market you can try with another model you can try this one for me it's really good as uh, legally we are limited to 25 kilometers per hour let's put it that way but this provides much more better acceleration and that's very good when you are going uphill when you are in an emergency situation such as quickly dodging a pothole or something like that it can get you out of trouble and i love that so be sure to follow my next uploads where i'm definitely going to do more stuff about fidu more fixes more repairs i have some other upgrades coming up uh, so 
be sure to hit the subscribe button and see what's coming around. Until then, see you and bye bye.